Hey folks, this is Matt AK Slash, and welcome back to Slash Plays Starbound. We are warping our way off to the Gamma Sector with Zap Clank. Uh, another one in the line of... Oh! Oops. Sorry, dude. <laughs> um, hmm. Hopefully I don't end up killing him by accident. Anyway, uh, it's an <laughs> another one... Uh, in the same line as Iron Clank, and, uh, I had to reset my character because we are now on Furious Koala, and Furious Koala is, uh, hopefully the last update that Chucklefish will have to do, where characters and whatnot have been wiped, but I have updated my, or I've played this character long enough to get to this point uh, we're about where we left off last time and we're going to beam down to our first gamma sector world and give it a look see Ooh, lots of stuff right here right off the bat Ooh, a little bit of lag as well uh now zap clank here has uh a number of things available to him that uh, his predecessors in the world did not. Got a whole bunch of bombs that I've found. Uh, let's see, there's some coal that I've collected. I've got, uh, that. That's good. He's got a steel drum, which is pretty cool. Let's, uh, play that a little bit. Let's do, uh, this binary one. Funky. He's also got a couple of different techs here that I found. The uh, energy dash allows him to do this. And then the pulse jump allows him to double jump like this. So that's pretty handy. Uh, I think I may have had a diamond pickaxe with uh, the mint leaf, the florin. I haven't gotten enough diamonds for that yet, so I'm still rocking the platinum pickaxe. Now, the guy that I nearly killed on my ship, that I hope regenerates some life, uh, is... Ooh, got some titanium there. Is from a doctor spawner that I found out in the world. So that was super handy. Uh, he sells these red stim packs for 400 pixels each. So I'm hoping to be able to hang on to him, because I cannot craft that technology myself and finding the doctor spawner early on was pretty nice so hopefully I don't lose him like I said I gotta be very careful where I'm swinging when I'm on my ship but I'm just gonna explore this new jungle world up here a little bit I've got this adorable uh, bear hat on and I have this this thing here. Ooh! Ooh! Jeez. That was, that's uh, no fun. Come on now. Come on now. Come on. Take the damage. There you go. Woo! Oh, man! This guy is. There we go. This guy's kind of tough. Anyway, <laughs> just sort of exploring this new world, looking for materials, and uh, seeing if we find anything cool. Now the next boss, I believe, is the Bone Dragon. Oh, there's some diamonds right here on the surface. That's certainly cool. So I gotta look into what sort of things I need to craft at this tier. I think the big material in this tier is Durasteel, uh, which I believe takes iron and something else, and I'm not sure what off the top of my head. We'll head back to the ship eventually and check that out because I also have to show you my base. Uh, you may have noticed when I was on the ship, the only thing up there is the doctor. I have decided to make use of the home planet functionality since you can warp there from wherever. And back in Alpha Sector, I have a home planet that I have built a little modest cottage on. 
So we'll take a look at that here a bit later. Hello. Ow, 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 ow. That's right, you just burn. Oh! Well. <laughs> that is not at all what I desired. Let Zap Clank get put back together here. And we're back on the ship. So let's go ahead and warp home. So that you can see what I've got going here. Here on Alpha Phi Her 9881 1. <laughs> a bit of a mouthful. But this is my little shack here, which is working pretty nicely for me. Got, uh, gotta go ahead and take all those pixels out right now. And let's do the platinum. Or not the platinum, the copper. We'll do the silver next. Let's go down here and smelt up some of the platinum, which I think is this here, or no, titanium, rather. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that. Uh, let's see. Put the silver there aside. Let's take a look at this. So the robotic crafting table was the latest addition to our technology. And with it, uh, we can make the star map upgrade mark Four. We needed it to make the Star Map Upgrade Mark Three, which we did to get to Gamma Sector. And for this, we need a Dragon Bone, some Titanium. So, the question becomes, how do you get a Dragon Bone? And if I scroll through here a little bit, I think we find the answer eventually. Hmm, perhaps not. Uh, wooden Fence, Distress Beacon, we know all about that. Hmm, I'm not actually sure how to get the dragon bone, so we're going to have to do a little bit of research, probably off-camera for that. Looks like they've added this paint tool as well, so that's kind of cool. Survival system, wiring station. Haven't looked into any of this really at all, either in-game or on the Starbound wiki. Uh, yeah. I did make the lantern stick, though, because that's kind of handy. Because that gets you a bubble of light around you no matter where you go. How we doing up here with the old pixels? Pretty good, pretty good. Let's put... Uh, where's the silver? There's the silver. Let's get that going. And in the meantime, we'll put some of this stuff away. Uh, petals go in... Here. Oh, no, they don't. Got a little bit of an organizational system here. Uh, cell materia, I think I'm putting in here in case that's useful for anything. <laughs> it seems also that the bosses are dropping five of their mob drops instead of just the one. Royal cover. Oh, this is a shield, I think. Right? Oops. Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to wield that for a while. And let's grab these, and we'll go up to the doctor. And get ourselves some stim packs to replenish our supply. Thank you, sir. And now let's head back down. Let's see if we can't do a little bit better now that we've got a shield on us. Got some more titanium down here. Definitely want that. Oop. We got guys coming. Oh, oh, oh. That's right, burn. I get a kick out of the fact that they continue. Oh, that they continue burning in the water. <laughs> I'm hoping that at some point Chucklefish fixes that, that when you get in water, the burning effect ends. Because otherwise it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Oh, man! Holy! Okay, so the shield didn't help us much. Probably because I'm not very used to it. <laughs> Let's take a look at the metal workstation. Uh, warp home. And see if we have some better armor available to us in here. 
Let's see, what does this do, by the way? 21 DPS. This one does... Oh, 46 DPS. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that. And get that on the bar, because that might help quite a bit if we can kill things a little bit faster. We'll hang on to that for the time being. Let's see, what do we got for... Oh, we got a neat welder's helmet. Takes a matter block. A space helmet takes a matter block. Looks like it might be a, a boss drop. Uh, what else we got going on here? Silver, gold, greaves. Uh, I don't think... What is our armor rating right now? This stuff is 9, 15, 6... So these are a little bit better, and they take gold and pixels, so I'm thinking all this gold ore I've been saving I should now smelt, and see if we can't get some better armor going. Do a little inventory management while we wait. There we go, we are up to 52 gold. Which should be more than enough, but we're probably short on pixels, unfortunately. So let's see, what can we get out of this? We can get the gold greaves and the gold helmet. So let's go ahead and grab those. And we'll put those on. This adorable bear hat <laughs> I found somewhere. So it will take the place of the scary ski mask look and let's see here uh, I think I've been keeping yeah I've been keeping the excess armor up in the ship so that's where we're gonna go next and let's see if the change in dagger versus and the um, armor upgrade helps us at all so, oh I don't haven't been keeping what the heck have I been keeping the armor oh well <laughs> Who knows? Back down to the planet we go. One more run at the jungle planet. I've got, oops, ah. I've got a better dagger now. So you guys better all back off. Plus I've got regeneration, so. <laughs> that was an accident. Uh, let's see. But we got some coal in here. Definitely want to get as much of that as we can. Although, having the little tree farm back on the home planet mitigates the need for coal somewhat because I can cook 10 unrefined wood into a piece of coal. Makes it a little bit easier to deal with than having to... Okay, here's some bad guys. That uh, could have gone better. <laughs> but we're getting there, I think, with the hunting skill. Oh, there's some gold. I haven't played this game in quite a while. In fact, it didn't end up on my channel at all last week, which is why it's the head headliner, I suppose. The opening act for this week. That's right. Yeah, you can't touch me. Ha-ha! Success. Now we're getting somewhere. I'm not even bothering with the plant fibers since I got my personal doctor. Don't need to worry about bandages. There we go. Some more titanium. Very nice. Oop. Some coal. Let's see, do we have anything, do we have any spawned villages or anything on this map? Hopefully soon. Oh, we got a chest. What's in the chest? Sharp Deer Hacker. Only 36 DPS, not as good as we want. I also stopped collecting the chests. I used to collect them for storage purposes, but I've got plenty of storage now. I've learned to stop my hoarding ways and actually started making use of this send to trash feature. Because there's just so much stuff in this game, I don't really see a need to hang on to all of it. I do want these pixels though. Gimme. Wink. 
And the titanium, thank you very much for being in large quantities right here on the surface. You will be most helpful to me. Plus, whenever I happen to slash the jungle plants, whether on purpose or by accident, but they tend to give a decent amount of plant fiber as well. Is that a bad bird? You gonna come after me? Yeah, you are. Ooh! Ew! You burped at me. Come on. Get back here. Fine. Take a bow to the face. Don't you, don't you burp at me. Come on. Oh, come on, just... There we go. Give me your leather. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Yeah, you can't touch me at all. Fantastic. And, oh, oh, little lag, little lag. Don't get me from through the floor. Ow. What about you, huh? Bring it. Bring it. Now you're in the water. Uh, there we go. <laughs> like, I can't hit you in the water. Get out of the water. It's fantastic. Grab that titanium ore and continue moving on. Uh, oh, there's a stupid bird after me again. Get you, man. I'm just gonna come down. Oh, look at this titanium. But you see how the lantern on a stick is helping to light our way? Look, that guy's coming after us down in the cave. He's a tenacious one. Take this coal, too, just for convenience. For the pixels in the refinery. Hey! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! You don't want a piece of this. You can't handle this. That's right. I'm not sure what that hardened monster plate is for. I haven't found a use for it yet. I'm thinking it might be an armor component at some point in the future. Is this? No, that's just. That's oh, clay. Hey, Caleb! <laughs> Caleb West, of course, being fanatical about clay. Is this silver or... Okay, that's silver. That's not really worth digging too far for. I will knock this tree down to get the gold, though. Thank you very much. Uh, that's clay. And, oh, there's some gold there. I'll get that. Next to the silver. Oh, and we got a mystery totem. <laughs> mystery station, I guess we could call it. I'll give that a try. Hopefully it won't just flat out kill us. I would love, uh, like a full heal. Oh, glowing. Okay, well, not super useful, but it did show me some coal down here that I hadn't seen before. I gotta say, I really love the effect in this game where the music becomes muted, all the sounds become muted when you're underwater. I think that's really cool. It's a great, uh game design decision, sound design, I guess, on the uh, Trucklefish's part. Oh, here comes another bad guy. You got nothing on me, man. I got this awesome gold dagger now. Ouch. Okay, maybe you got something on me. Ooh, and I'm out of bandages, or stim packs. That's no good. We might have to head up to the ship again soon. And make do with what spoils we do have. Can we get this real quick? I'm hoping to find a structure before we have to head back up, though. Let's grab this. That looks like titanium. Indeed, it is. Fantastic. It's a new ore in this world. And it seems to be fairly abundant in this jungle, so I'm happy about that. I think this is just silver over here, though. Yeah, just silver. I'll take it, though, now that I'm here. But not super useful. And night appears to be falling pretty soon. And still no village of any sort. 
grab this titanium. Thank you very much. What else you got for me? Got some gold. I will admit, I was kind of... Uh, oh, here we go. Here's a little NPC area. Anybody home? Hello. You met Platinum Ace once. Nice lady. Um, uh, okay. Um, I'll, don't mind me. I'm just stealing all of your pixels. Oops, now I hurt you. You've been accosted. Well, I don't know if that's the word I'd use. Oh, I'm sleeping in your bed. <laughs> all right. Well, that was not super exciting. Oop. Come on. There we go. Let's see. Do we have... Did I see... No, that's silver. Do we have anything further down this way? Or was that a standalone house? That, uh... Avian didn't really seem too concerned about fighting back. That's silver. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, no, I think that's probably about it for this area in terms of the NPCs. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. A little bit shorter. Go and aim it for like the 20-minute mark on this one as opposed to a 30-minute episode because I've got a, quite a bit of grindy grindy to do. I just wanted to update you on... Some of the differences between this character and the last one, most notably the Doctor Spawner, which is awesome. And also, let's just zap ourselves back up to the ship to finish it out. And also, you know, the fact that I'm now playing a glitch again, etc., etc. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll be back with you in this series once we have a little bit more progress done in Gamma Sector. Have a good one.